And then you do your boyfriend's bend for your hip thrust. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Guess what we're doing again? Butt stuff. I bet you're all excited for this. I can't wait. Now let's get started. Look at these hip thrusts. Look how good I am at hip thrusts. Look at that air. All right, I'm tired now. Hey, so I'm going to teach you a little about the bench press today. First, you have to Shake your head from side to side, like a little head Beyonce dance. And then you curve your spine and stick your boobs up like a woman who wants to grow her boobs and stick it up just two times. That's all you need to keep you strong and healthy. And there I am, so exhausted, even to reach my girlfriend for the handshake. Here's something you guys never would have thought of, that you can work your butt by doing swimming without the water. So all you have to do is lay on a bench and you can pretend to swim and it works your glutes so well. My glutes are on fire right now. You can't tell because my face is deep into the bench, but look, I'm a Superman now. <laughs> swimming through the air. Watch me go. There is this mindset of a power lifter. You are your own biggest competition. Yeah, it is. I realized this while staring at the bench before I work out. And then another thing is you also make really great videos like this one rap that I do it here. So you gotta work out for only one big rap and rest for like 10 minutes after that, like this little hand wrist thing. You like it? Finally, we're back to me. Shout out to me. Sometimes whenever you're setting up for these hip thrusts, don't you start to wonder, since I'm vegan, is it okay for me to eat animal crackers? Because animal crackers are not made from animals, I think. But does that still make them okay for me to eat as a vegan? These are things I wonder about as I'm under this bar. Just kidding, I actually can't think of anything with all the blood forced into my glutes. And what video of mine would not be complete without close up of my butt? Here we are learning how to contract for the first time. I've never actually contracted my glutes before and I definitely felt it after I learned this new move. Shout out to Bryce, he's amazing for teaching me this thing. I love him so much. So for my final lift, you just have to grab another gym trainer because you have to make sure that you don't kill yourself during your workout. And second of all, you can also show off to them. And here I am doing my three pound PR, but uh, oh my God, I think I lost it. I broke something too. An old CrossFitters trick that I learned while I was in the circus is that if you put on 25 pound plates, you can pretend that they're 45 pound plates and people will think you're stronger. The problem with that today was the 25 pound plates aren't the same diameter as the 45 pound plates. So I just look silly squatting with two 25 pound plates on each side. Not sure why I did that. I probably should have changed it. Anyways, I'm gonna put this weight back. I have one more rep. Oh, yes. That last one was good. That was my favorite one. Yo, shout out to this girl behind me. I definitely gonna have to get her number. Hang on. Okay, I just went and got her number during the set. Her name's Jessica. Let's check her out. She has the best one I've ever seen in my life. Look at those neon shorts. Anyways, uh, me, I am sumo something, sumo lifting glutes and stuff. When you're not sure what to do, it's always nice to just throw a dumbbell on the ground and pick it up several times for some reason in a, in a weird fashion. And always don't forget to put your butt so it faces the camera. You gotta have a good angle for your butt or else it'll look bad. <sighs> Man, I love
love my butt. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more of this booty. Okay, thank you, bye.